officially introduce myself, Jim Unbar. It thinks backwards. Mine does the same. Yeah, I don't care how I put it, it always ends up backwards. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. All right, whenever you guys are ready. I'm here with uh, Mark Nichols from DOA Lures. He's going to talk to us a little bit about the DOA line. And these things always turn backwards, so I never know who anybody is around here. But my name is Mark. I make fish and lures. Uh, I'm very proud that we make our lures in the U.S. Uh, to me, that's very important. I'm the one who took this lure right here. I carved it out of a piece of wood. I drilled the holes in for the legs. I figured out how to make the injection. I designed the lead so that it wouldn't come out. It took four different evolutions of lead design to keep it from flying out. I came out with a double hook to begin with. I was gill hooking too many fish, and I wasn't able to fish it through the grass well I liked, so I evolved into the single hook and became uh, quite successful in selling a bunch of baits. And then the American companies take my baits to China and knock them off. But I am the original, and they can knock them off all day long. I'm the one who designed this. We sell this nine pack, which sells cheaper than the Chinese knockoffs, and they're buying the original. A lot of folks aren't from Texas. A lot of folks that are in the Texas, Louisiana market, I was raised at Hyper. If I fish in Texas with spinning gear north of Matagorda, they will deport me because you're born and raised fishing bait casters there. And so they'll put a jig head in it. So if they buy a nine pack on rig, they just, you know, there's nothing to do. You put the jig head in and you go fish. And it can be very effective and it gets sometimes in the wintertime I'll use them because I can get better casting distance with it. But, you know, you guys are skinny water people. I was raised waiting. I love skinny water. I can stalk fish, get with close to them. And a lot of my designs are just an evolution of what I love to do. It's not like I'm going out to please everybody. I'm going out going, gosh, this ain't working, I need to do this or this or this. That's the way I came out with the bait buster. I was fishing this one night with a buddy of mine, and he put on a live finger mullet and caught three snook, and I wasn't catching any. And that night, I went back to my shop, carved a mullet, and the next night, I went out and caught fish with it. It was very ugly and very crude, but it, it did the job. And uh, so all of my stuff is just that kind of evolution. And, uh, it's just more love of fishing, and uh, i got to make money at the business. Yeah, we're happy with that. We have a good crew. He's looking great. Well, we appreciate that. Well, just uh, keep casting. Come over and fish with me sometime. Absolutely. Stuart, you guys are welcome to come over. Absolutely. Come over, spend the spend night during the week, and uh, put you at my buddy at River Palms. He's got a place that's just heaven. Go wade right out of his backyard and fish six hours. So that was a great, great time.